Hi, um, for my 8x8 build, I've decided to build my own transfer case. Uh, it's just a challenge. And uh, what I will be using is this uh, two centimeter aluminum uh, flat bar, some five millimeter uh, rods, Trex's 17T um, pinions, bearings, and some bolt and nuts. I'm going to start off with cutting this into seven centimeter uh, lengths. I'm going to need four of them. So I'm going to cut those and get back to you. Here are my four pieces of seven centimeter lengths. Uh, I will find the center on, on the, one of them and drill a five millimeter hole for the shaft to fit in. And I'll get back to you. Got slightly carried away here and uh, drilled the hole three. <clears throat> now, the shaft here will fit tight. Um, for now, I'm going to line up my gears like this. And uh, <clears throat> uh, have all four drilled to align them uh, with each other. And I will get back to you and show you how I'm going to use the center tool. Near each other will have wider holes, 11 millimeter, for my bearings to fit in. When I've done that, I will drill four holes here to screw them all together to keep it in as, as, as one unit. Here are the finished drilled uh, plates. As you can see, the two in the middle <coughs> are uh, have larger holes for the bearings to sit in, while the uh, outer two have larger than five millimeter holes for the shaft to turn freely. I don't want this to be rubbing against anything except to the bearing. I'm going to assemble half of it uh, off camera and then I will show you how the bearings and the shaft and the gears fit together on one side and then I will replicate the remainder on the other side of the transfer case. So I've uh, tied the two plates on one side together with a nut. You see the recess there, the wider and the narrower hole. And this is how I keep the bearing. Look, the shaft goes in loose, but the bearing goes in tight there and stays in place. And this is how I keep them together. Now, the tricky part, ideally you do this on a vise, is you slide this down here onto the, sorry, not this one. Uh, you slide this. Hang on a minute. Yeah, these things happen on camera. Um, you slide this down here onto the bearings and, uh, and keep it in place with uh, nuts, which I have forgotten to insert. So I'm going to put the nuts in and show this to you in place. Okay, put my nuts in there. I'm going to lower this onto everything now. And it should, when I manage to get everything in place, hold the bearings uh, in their position. Ideally, like I said, you do this on a voice, but yeah, we managed. So the bearings stay in there. And you can control this play here very simply, when you put the last plate over everything <clears throat> and it will keep the bearings uh, down on the on the gears. And this is how it will eventually uh, look. I will put more nuts here. Um, I'm going to have to change these for shorter ones. And I will have to go to a shop. I want to drill holes <coughs> in the ends of the uh, output shafts here for my uh, drive shafts pins to go through. I don't want to have flat ends. So I'll clean this up here, make it more presentable. 
I will eventually add, <clears throat> I mean, I have to mount this somehow. I'm going to have to add uh, an angle here, 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 and here. So when I place it flat on the on the plate, on the chassis, I will be able to mount it, tight, secure it to the to the chassis. So this is my project, and I must say it, it was fun doing it. I hope I encourage somebody to, at least one person, to make one like it or make something similar. And um, there are parts out there which are accessible to almost everybody and um, YouTube videos are unlimited and uh, you know for ideas and, and, and helps and hints so hope this helps somebody if it does please let me know in a comment below